In this video, we're going to go through supply component of the construction tab. First, press home, new, and open a new project. I'm going to use my custom setup, but you can use whatever you prefer, and I will create new project. Now I've got new project, which is not saved at the moment. That's why it has, doesn't have a title. As you can see, this is based on my template. I've got drawing title block with my logo. The construction tab is divided into groups, as you can see, and I'm only going to explain the ones I'm using most of the time. I'm not going to go through every single option here. Starting with supply, you've got two types of supply you're going to be using very often. So I'm using three phase TN supplies or a transponder. That's the two types of supply I'm generally using all the time. Every single component works like this. If you click on the name, you're going to edit the name. So if I selected the name in my properties, I can just edit the name here by pressing up pen. Or I just double click on the name and a new window will open with the same kind of options where I can select the pen to edit the name. And again, I would rarely use this default settings. I would always go no standard source one. I always use non standard. Then in transform it works the same way. If I let me actually do it differently, so I edit that in the, in the properties, select the pen, non standard, and I would call it TX1. That's how most often they are referred to on the schematic drawings. So we've got the source, but what the uh, characteristics are, double click on source, fault conditions. This is where you set up your fault conditions, your line fault and air fault and ZD. That's what you're really interested in. That's what's important. The transform is similar. The only difference is you go to fault conditions, so you can actually set the transformer rating and impedance. The impedance you take from the transformer uh, nameplate. So this is an example of transformer nameplate. If you, let me just zoom in. If I zoom in to impedance, you can see the impedance is 4.75%. That's the value you're going to put there, 4.75%, and apply. This will then automatically calculate the fault levels and the ZD for your installation. That's what I typically do rather than trying to establish the fault characteristic by inquiry. So once you go through that, that's how you can then start building your system and then move on to adding more components which will be shown in next video thank you for watching